Hey YouTubers, Arleus here, and I'm bringing you this guide on soloing all the bosses at Orgrimmar Heroic, even Galacross. The entrance to the Siege of Orgrimmar is located in the Vale of Eternal Blossoms, near coordinates 7244. Immersius is a straightforward fight. DPS him down and step out of any pools he summons at your feet, like the one shown here. When you burn his health down to one, he transitions and splits. There are two types of slimes, shop puddles and contaminated puddles. DPS down the shop puddles and heal the contaminated ones before they come in contact with Immersius's pool. The more puddles that are killed or healed, the smaller Immersius's corruption will be when he reforms. The corruption is visible under Immersius's health bar. When the corruption reaches zero, you've won the fight. When fighting Rookie and Sun, they'll all have an intermission or desperate measures phase when each of them hits 66% and 33%. It is best to DPS them down equally as a trio will need to be defeated at roughly the same time. During Sun's intermission, stand underneath their protective bubble. During all phase transitions, it might be helpful to kill off the adds. <laughs> But it is not gentle. Gird yourselves and be purified.
pay close attention with the amalgam cast blind hatred as well as the direction it moves. This is something you do not want to be struck with. When a manifestation of corruption dies, it drops a residual corruption void zone. In the past, a purified player would soak these up to prevent raid-wide damage. For this heroic mode, I'm just going to ignore him and focus on the amalgam. Try your souls to their utmost. Defeating the Shahs is some matter on heroic mode difficulty and needs only be defeated before it puts you in a prison. <laughs> so foolish. Commandeer those towers. Turn the anti-air batteries around and blast her from the sky. Some of you should stay behind to hold the landing zone. Dragon Maw Clan! After the fight begins, you'll have to kill about four waves of mobs. If none of the Dragon Maw trash does any damage to the faction NPCs, you'll earn the achievement Iron Vanguard. Here they come! Dragon Maw, advance! Once you see that your tower progress reaches 100%, run to the south tower. A demolisher will fire attacks at the tower, which will stun you, but is otherwise not a big deal. They breached the tower! Bring it down! <laughs> Turn the siege weapons to attack that tower and bury them alive! She's turning her siege weapons on her own towers! Ah! 
After defeating the last of the mobs in the tower, fire the cannon at Galacrass twice. In the past this required two people firing at roughly the same time, but now you can just double tap her with one gun solo. I've conjured a blizzard. It worked. The proto drake is falling. When eventually Galagrass crashes down to the ground, you can defeat her. None of her abilities in heroic mode are especially difficult to solo. Iron Jugs is an easy fight to solo, especially if you're not trying for the achievement. Heroes, no doubt about that. Blessing of the Earth. Avoid his ground effect damage. Clear the area of the Valley of Strength of any trash you don't want to have to contend with when the bosses get pulled. The War Chief ignored my counsel. I discovered he was building a compound beneath the caverns of rage. Thrall and Sourfang have already Storm. gone home. Go with caution. Hellstream has been assembling an Tortured wind, stale and toxic. Avoid standing in the toxic storm. Anguished water, stagnant and poisonous. Long dead, fire black and smoldering. Also avoid contact with the ashen wall shown here. Kite the bosses out of the Ash Flare totems, which is made visible by a ground effect. The blood of the true lord lost for power power. The elements. What have we done? I can hear them. No. Die today. In the past, you would need to pay close attention to the ads, hit up offensive cooldowns during Nosgrim's Berserker stance, and avoid DPS on the boss during the defensive stance. Now just beat him down. <laughs> Oh, 
my command! Kill me. I die. With honor. Look, God. Oh, God. The only thing to watch out for now is to stay out of Melkrok's cone-shaped attack, which is a three and a half second cast called Arcing Smash. To start the fight, click on the secured stockpile located in the middle of the corridor and pick a random code. Hey. After the module is initialized, pick a gate to stand next to and jump down after it lowers. All modules starting up. Please stand back. Checking out the data. Hold on a second, will you? No. Now you did it. That was really, really, really not the correct input code. Activating GB-11010 Armageddon class defense- Open the boxes below and AOE any mobs. Anybody know if we're sold for this? After your bar fills up, pull the system override lever and then go up the nearby rope, running to the other side that has an open gate. Initiating system reset. Module 1 at 50%. Hey, system reset requires two modules to complete. You'll have to complete two of the four sections before the timer runs out and the defensive systems are activated. On heroic mode, this is just over four and a half minutes.
Once the second section of boxes have been opened, you'll still click on the override lever and go up the rope, but now another section's gate will open for you. Module one's all prepared for system reset. Initiating system reset. Module 2 at 50%. Hey, system reset requires two modules to complete. After you've opened all four sections, your work is complete. System resetting. Don't turn the power off or the whole thing will probably explode. If you're a hunter, you can swap to your Beast Mastery spec and now tame Thok. In the past and during Raid Finder difficulty, Thok would go into a blood frenzy and do significant damage to anyone in his path while he fixated on a player. On heroic mode, Thok has become nothing more than a spank fight.
After defeating Siegecrafter Blackfuse's adds, enter one of the large tubes in front of you to enter his combat area. If you're trying for the achievement, just focus on Siege Crafter and ignore the assembly lines as well as any adds that come to assist him. When Siege Crafter throws, or rather drops a saw blade on the ground where you're standing, just change position so you're no longer in contact with it. To start the fight, click on the Manted Amber in the center of the room. Yes! New test subject! Perhaps I could have used some enhancements of I You move too slowly! How does your kind catch any prey? Whenever any of the Paragons cast Amber Regeneration, usually near death, make sure to focus your DPS on them. Revenge me, brother. Chaos is all. How about the game? Calculation is incorrect. The old one grasps us straight. Have you come to try my new concoctions, boy? So many wonderful varieties. Which concoction shall I give you? Return me. Shit in the shell. I was. I will carry you one last time. Come on, Witcherers. It's feeding time. I never discovered how to put a stopper in death. Well fought, Witcherers. We will meet again. Kovac. Come to me. I need. I, Garrosh, son of Grom. During the first phase, DPS down Garrosh and his adds. Called Hellstream. When he drops his desecrated weapon, destroy it to remove the desecrated pool. Die with the siege engineers are less of an issue during this fight. However, if you're a squishy, consider popping some type of defensive cooldown when the iron stars come across the room. Our wounds, anger, hatred, fear. They are weapons of war. The tools of a war chief. After Garrosh reaches 10% health, he will transition to the second phase. The second phase increases Garrosh's health, and eventually you'll get pulled into the intermission realm. Oh, I can see the future of this world. A world ruled by the Horde. My Horde. The Old One calls to you. During this phase, you'll need to destroy the enemies who block your path to Garrosh before you actually take Garrosh down.
When you fight him, stay on the move, moving out of the frontal annihilate attacks. After the phase timers expired, you'll find yourself back where you started the fight. Garish will transition yet again when reaching 10% health. After this period, he will be partially healed and have stronger attacks. I have seen mountains of skulls and rivers of blood, and I will have... Continue to damage him down during this phase until he's finally defeated. No. It cannot end. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out my other content, such as the artifact, weapon, quest lines for Legion.